What are the subtypes of multiple myeloma? Well, let's do a quick review of multiple myeloma. It is a cancer of the plasma cell that lives in the bone marrow. And the plasma cell is the cell that makes our antibodies, those things that help fight off our infections. Antibodies look like this. They have this kind of Y-shaped appearance to them. And there are subtypes of these antibodies, or as we call them, immunoglobulins. There's what's called immunoglobulin G or IgG, and there's IgA, and there's IgM. Not only do we see immunoglobulins as the full Y, sometimes the little bits of the Y, what are called light chains, can also break off. And so patients can have what we call light chain only myeloma. About 60% of patients have IgG, 20% have IgA, and about 20% have light chain only, which only leaves a couple of percentages for IgM or so-called non-secretory myeloma, where the plasma cells are growing, but they're not releasing any of that protein. So why is it important to know all this? Not only is it perhaps interesting to know what subtype you have, knowing what subtype you have helps us as we monitor the way you have been treated and how your disease responds so that we can see the levels go down as you're being treated. We wanna make sure patients are informed so that they can get the best treatment possible and understand how that treatment is working. And you'll understand it better when you know your subtype of multiple myeloma. Too many people say, what's myeloma? Let's change that together. You can raise awareness during Blood Cancer Awareness Month by sharing this video with your friends and family. You can also post using the hashtag NoMyeloma, K-N-O-W, myeloma. The more people know about myeloma, the louder our call for earlier diagnosis, greater access to treatment, more investment in research, and equity in cancer care. Let's make myeloma known.